Good day to you. I am back. Landing site 22. Got a real weird situation here. I have a ship. I was tracking uh, two ravens and an interceptor after it. And it landed on top of a base, which apparently you get to choose then. Do you want to go after the base or the landing site? So I'm going after the landing site. Got a bunch of rookies here, of course. It's just the whole Iron Man situation is just becoming just abundantly more real. Here we are on the 10th video. I feel like it's really hard to make ground. I'm realizing why there's a mod for the feature of purchasing more experienced soldiers. I mean, this is, it's just really unforgiving, which I mean, is kind of in the name of the, the mode, but still, XCOM, you haunt my dreams. So here we are at another large ship. I'm gonna try to just be so extra careful because it's just tough losing, losing my good peeps. It's funny, you might think it's frustrating. It's not even frustrating, it's just hard. I, I had another review from the council and I still get an excellent review. I'm taking down plenty of ships. I don't have anybody else turning over to the dark side. I do have another alien base on my hands. We have Anders Andersen. The Swede with the Magnum. You know what? I'm going to leave that alone. David Kelly coming in with just the taser shot clip. Going to give you the submachine gun. I got a lot of people, and I'm bringing two attack dogs. We're going to give this to someone else. just uh, been a rough road. Anyway, we gotta gain some ground here. That's the goal. We're on the 10th video. We're on lockdown. We gotta lock these aliens down. We gotta show them that you know, they gotta take us seriously. We're XCOM. We gotta make a big impact. We're gonna come in with 95 cyber discs. See here, oh boy. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, David Kelly. Tiago Morgado. Nice shooting Tiago Morgado. I also did another mission in between that I thought was just going to be a gimme. A small ship I had shot down. Didn't record that one, but um, I only had two soldiers. Just a little bit of a risk there, and these two attack dogs. And I thought, hey, you know, this will be just like a nice thing to do. I uh, know, got someone shot. It was totally crazy. There's this big restaurant like looking building, and there were three sectoids in there. One in the house right to the left when I got to that the mission and then some, one to the right. So I had five surrounding me. It was insanity. The 
aliens are just getting too brave. So that's why we're here. That's why we got a Sky Marshal that's just chock full of new recruits. We're gonna gain some ground here this mission. Oh, that's my guy who already moved. Dang it. <laughs> this is my carelessness. Alright. We got a lot of doors. Dave Kelly. Okay. Dave Kelly's backing it up. These desert missions are their own kind of challenge because we have so much open ground. Really glad I brought the two attack dogs. Do some scouting for us. Huh, wonder where the door is. Oh, look at that heavy plasma. And that is the other thing. I do not know the research tree for the mod, so it's hard to set goals with going after certain items you want to be able to use. Wish I had some better armor by now. Brendan Farrell. That's the most generic name of any character on the squad. I love the international names. I think this is a science ship. Oh, we don't seem to have any doors over here, and the dogs aren't spotting anybody. Uh, I'm hoping that means I can have a green light to advance some troops. I think I'm realizing a little bit later than maybe I would have liked how valuable the dogs are. They really are great scouts. This is only the second mission I've ever been on where I brought two of them. It seems to make a big difference.
Was that someone walking in sand? Oh my goodness. Oh my. I believe in you, Marika and Tall. Gotta oh, give all these new recruits a chance to prove themselves, but Miloslav Sikora. Well done. Carrying something small. Pistol, maybe. Anders Anderson, I really want you to be good. Well done, Olamide. Shooting like a veteran right there. Is this 
this is why I think I have a chance when I head to those alien bases. I'm like, all the meetings there. How can I not have a chance? Brendan. Alrighty. Brendan, I don't even know what to do with you. We should just stay back. there before, right? We've seen this before. We know how this can go horribly wrong.
If you all keep, uh, you know, shooting like this, I feel like there's going to be some promotions in your future. Bright, bright career ahead of you in XCOM. there's a guy I couldn't see standing right there before, so I figured that was worth checking. Sky Marshal Formation, right there in the hall. Min Jun, I think Min Jun might be my one person that was on that last mission that I was talking about where I survived two soldiers against a whole bunch of sectoids, even though I shot down that craft. The elevator is right there. And the dog reports back. There's someone else up there. If this were not an Iron Man game and I had some recruits that had some actual time units, well, hey, I could run up there and go get that guy. Instead, we're hoping David Kelly's Reactions of 46, and let's see, Tiago Morgado, ooh, 60, that's pretty good. And Felipe Chavez, oh, you're only 30, not keeping our hopes up for you, kid. All right, we got Anders Anderson, 52, not bad. Hopefully, if that alien comes down, somebody will get a shot off. Meanwhile, over here, let's get ready to go upstairs to the third level. Oh man, 
carrying around that grenade launcher, it just feels like we're carrying around a, a bomb that could go off in our hand at any time. <laughs> still have a deal outside. Just going to have to do this with the dog. Not take too many chances. You know what happens when I take chances. <laughs> Actually, there's a good chance there's no other aliens on this middle floor. I feel like that's often the case. Of course, when I say stuff like that, then I'm proven wrong. there's one thing I've learned about XCOM is I never know what's going to happen next. I think I know the patterns of the aliens. I think I know the layouts of the ships. I think I know all the different things that can happen. I've played through the game a number of times, but never on Iron Man. Oh my gosh, it's a whole different ball game. so easy to just reload when you do something and it doesn't turn out well or you make a dumb mistake when you're playing in the regular mode I mean it's it's just this is a whole different ball of wax
there a dog in my way right there? Great, Jason. That's great. Of course it's Min June who has the shock taser thing and is probably the farthest from the action. Oh there we go. Some alien surgeries. Those are worth some money. How many are left? That's the question. you to go down. We're coming around the corner here. We do. Ooh, reactions 34, not great. Tiago 36. Oh, okay. Oh, where are they going? All right. Still feels like a job for the dog. Navigator or a scientist or something. If there's any more, they're in this hallway. Ah, that's it. 
Excellent. All right. We didn't lose anybody. Woo! Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to sell. Make some money. Maybe I can build some more stuff. Been so much air traffic. Haven't been able to get through the research the way I like. But uh, this is a nice little victory. And no one got promoted. And check it out, I had every Sky Ranger, Raven, Interceptor, everybody there. Um, let's see, where's the UFOpedia? I did want to show you the Gazer Autopsy. Of course, doesn't really tell me much, except they have a chitinous armor outside, which kind of already put that together. It's like their oh, crustacean trait, so it's it's like they blended a sectoid with a crab or something. Interesting. Um, when off one of those corpses I, th I think I got some mind probes too so you know maybe they can make you berserk or freak out or whatever I didn't really notice that happening during the mission but that was I mean I don't, I don't remember interesting new alien gazer terrifying that single eye makes them scary, but also just the fact that they take a million shots to go down. Scary. Okay, that's good. Hope your day is kicking off right. Take care.